Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? And welcome to another video. My name is Nathaniel Morton, and I am a sports performance trainer who specializes in basketball players. And in today's video, I'm gonna teach you about the one secret that they haven't been telling you about how to fix your knee pain. They don't wanna see you win it but I do, and I wanna see you get your knees strong. Before we get into this video, as always, subscribe to the channel, comment jump, J-U-M-P, down below in the comment section, and I will send you a free body weight vertical jump training program, and included in that free jump program is a free knee strengthening program. It's one month long, it's called Phase Zero. It will take you from crippled knees to the strongest knees on the planet in one month, or at least get you started, then you might have to repeat the program a few times to get as strong as possible, and if you wanna take your vertical jump and your knee strength to the next level. It is $20 a month for me to coach you to your highest vertical jump ever and your strongest knees ever. $20 a month. You get access to all of my programs, every single one that I offer, and I will coach you to your highest sports performance that you've ever had in your entire life. But okay, let's get into it. If you're wondering why I'm sweaty, it's because I stopped my workout to do this video. I had an epiphany. I was like, this is what people don't know. I need to tell them right now. So that is why I'm sweaty. This is the secret that they've been keeping from you. And when I say that, realize that nobody's been keeping secrets from you. It's just not often talked about because because number one, a lot of people don't know about it. And I actually thought, I haven't even really said it on my channel. And you guys need to know this to fix your knees as fast as possible and to get your knees as strong as possible. So here is the secret. We all hear people talk about load management. You need to remove the things that hurt your knees. Very true. Whatever hurts your knees, you need to remove that temporarily and then slowly add it back in. This is called load management. But there are certain exercises that load the patellar tendon, which is the primary tendon in jumper's knee and patellar tendinopathy, patellar tendonitis, et cetera, et cetera. There are certain exercises that load this more than others. For example, knee bend exercises like knees over toes guys, ATG split squats, like eccentric squats on a slanted board. These are exercises that target the patellar tendon directly, but there are also exercises that can help your knees get better that do not target the patellar tendon. These are called accessory exercises in my programs. These are your glute exercises, hamstrings, calves, and tibialis. These exercises, you can do more often, you can load them more than your direct patellar tendon exercise. So let me give you an example. If I were to do three sets of 10 eccentric squats on a slanted board, remember your tendons love eccentrics and isometrics. Let's say I do three sets of 10 eccentric squats on a slanted board. That is going to directly target my patellar tendon. I'm using the quad muscles and I am doing full knee bend. That is directly targeting my patellar tendons. So it is going to need need a little bit more rest than other exercises that target the glutes, the hamstrings, the calves, and the tibialis anterior. So you could the next day strengthen your hamstrings, your glutes. You could do mini band exercises like glute bridges with a mini band or clams, or you could do the Jane Fonda leg raises that help your glutes as well. You could do hamstring exercises like one leg Romanian deadlifts, no knee bend, but it increases your balance, your stability, and the strength of your hamstrings. You could do calf raises. You could do tibialis raises. You can do these exercises more often. You can load them with more weight. You can get them strong because that will only lead to stronger knees. It will only lead to the muscles that directly relate to knee pain. It will only get those muscles stronger and relieve your knee pain if you work on these muscles more often than you work on knee bend in direct patellar tendonitis exercises. So that is why in my Indestructible Knees program, I have a workout day, which is knee bend. It is, it is tendon exercises. It is all the exercises that directly make the tendons stronger. But then the next day, I have an accessory day where we work on the glutes, the hamstrings, the calves, the tibialis anterior. We work on the exercises that are not going to directly break down the patellar tendons, but they are going to help you relieve your knee pain. And then the third day would be a movement day. And that's where you do your running because you can't 
just do exercises in the weight room and then forget about your movement, forget about your sport, your basketball, your running, your skipping, your jumping, et cetera, et cetera. So that third day is when I do that. And then my fourth day, I rest. And then we repeat the cycle with a workout day, an accessory day, and a movement day. But that's all I wanted you to know. The one secret is you need to know that you can strengthen your glutes, your hamstrings, your calves, and your tibialis anterior more. You can load them up more. You can load them up faster. And that will directly help your knees get better without breaking down your patellar tendons. That's all I wanted you to know. If you want my knee strengthening program, link will be in the pinned comment and in the description below. But anyways, over and out. I will see you guys in the next video. Young beast mode from the East Coast. A young kid with a West Coast feel. And I don't even know how the West Coast feel. I'm from where it's cold. The city made a steel where a lot of n****s fold. Only couple keep it real right. Back still keep it real tight. Keep two L's just like Cool J. My heart's cold as Ice Cube. Praying it's a good day. I'm at a crossroads, but in a good way. I got my